kids that were like, Dad, I don't believe this crap. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. I can't do anything. This is my favorite part. Mo loves. This is absolutely absurd. Like, this is absurd now, guys. I don't even know how many fines or anything are here. He's actually here to serve all these papers over codes. And I'm not sure how well this camera picks everything up, but we're gonna use this footage for sure. Give me a minute here to read over everything and I'll be back with you guys. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. 
um, we're just gonna get right into it I'm not even gonna BS or anything um, as you can tell we did get some citations and everything from our little codes visit there I'm completely over it I'm annoyed by it um, but before we go ahead and get into it we're gonna do two things I'm gonna go look at a piece of property right now um, and I'm gonna actually show you guys the XJ so here the XJ is in the sunlight it looks absolutely epic it looks killer and again if you didn't see yesterday's video I did not wrap the grill because the grill is still broken I have a new one on its way so we're gonna get that taken care of then we'll wrap that but here is the xj guys sorry i'm not really like super excited to show it off or anything like that but here it is in the daylight maybe i'll do some more pictures of it um but we're gonna jump in the xj right now we're gonna go look at two different properties and uh hopefully be able to make a bid on one of them and within a few weeks or months hopefully we'll be able to have one of them so that's what we're gonna do and then i'll come back and kind of run through the citations Oh, and if you were wondering what I was doing, I was actually putting the door panels and the windows and everything back in. You can see I didn't do that side yet. Um, I got this side all back together. Um, again, I got to put the other side back together. So that's what I was actually intending to do today. I wasn't even going to make this video. I absolutely hate making these videos, but I got to get the window and everything tossed back in, the door cards back on on this side, and then we're going to run and look at the property. I have a meeting in about 45 minutes, so I should be able to do this in about 15 minutes, and then we're going to go meet the uh, property holder up here actually we're gonna meet my realtor and then we're gonna go to the property so stay tuned <laughs> door panels and everything are on we're fully functioning I must say first time I've ever fully completed a project this thing I don't know what it is about this thing maybe because the kids enjoy it I'm trying to make sure like the kids get it but this thing's coming together and coming together well so now i have about 15 minutes before i have to be about 20 minutes away to look at this first property so let's just jump in the xj here and go uh check out the first property this is exactly where i need to move in the middle of nowhere <laughs> all righty guys it goes well um the guy seems a little bit weird about me recording here but the back side of the property is actually where i'm at right now and uh just basically needs some cleanup he's actually starting to move some things out so he's got some trash out here and everything but we'll have to clean all this up if we're interested i'm not against it at this point we got to talk a little bit of numbers here it's definitely within budget so we'll see what happens i got to go look at the second property now i'm going to finish talking here with this guy and uh, finish looking it over. And uh, this could be a possibility, guys. This could be new HQ for the Send It Steve community. All right, stand by. All right, well, this is honestly just a piece of property. All right, so as you can see, this is kind of basically like an open plot for land. Um, this would be obviously a fresh start. We'd build our own property and everything. Um, this is definitely something cool. You'd be on my own little cul-de-sac here. I'd have obviously my own dirt road here. Um, you can see it goes from like this pylon back and then out across to the farm and then down over the hill also. So we're gonna check out this place, see what we can do. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll be building the next place for the Senate Steve HQ. That would be freaking awesome. But uh, for now, we're gonna head back to the house and I'll talk to you guys about some of the code violations we got. So. This is very promising. This is actually more my speed than kind of the last property. This is kind of like a build your own, which would be freaking epic. We can do like a little build series on a, a pole building and a property and a house. And man, I'm liking this. I'm digging this area for sure. All right, guys and girls. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick little rundown. As you can see here, I believe there's nine total citations. One. two, three, yeah, you get the point. I think there's nine total citations. Um, some of them are duplicates because of uh, multiple violations out here. I'm just gonna read them down for you guys and kind of go from there. Again, this just sort of aggravates me that somebody has this much time to sort of just, I guess, sit around and call. Um, I don't know if you guys realize, but I'm in my kid's game room. I decided to come in here because the lighting's good. Plus, there's a little stand in here already for the GoPro. So, um, anyway, the one of the things is inoperable vehicle. I guess that's turning off. So, one of the things is inoperable vehicle. Um, car being in disarray in on the property. That's ninety dollars and twenty five cents. Not a big deal. Whatever it is, what it is. I believe that's the maroon car that's out here. Um. Defendant failed to remove inoperative unlicensed vehicle um, stored on the premises, not on 
the driveway basically in the grass um so that i'm assuming is going to be the f450 or the f350 or, or the tahoe i don't really know but that's 140 dollars and 25 cents it doesn't say what vehicle um it's for but it just says 140 dollars and 25 140 dollars 50 cents um defendant failed to remove rubbish and secondhand goods stored on the property 142.75 i'm assuming that's just like tires and things um nope here it is here's the debris um defendant failed to remove debris um as prior previously noted uh or failed to remove secondhand goods off of the property another 140 dollars and 25 cents whatever um unregistered vehicle here sorry i'm trying to keep my personal information away from you guys too i know that you guys love it but um unregistered vehicle on the property uh ninety dollars and 25 cents um de defendant failed to stop parking vehicles on the grass a hundred and ninety eight dollars that's right, $198 for that. Let's see if I can actually show you this without freaking giving away all of my information down here. But that is $198.50. Can you guys see that? For parking vehicles on the grass. $200 basically, because I parked my vehicles on the grass, which that I'm assuming is going to be the f450 up top there because that's the only vehicle that hasn't moved in a while and uh i mean insane um ninety dollars and 25 cents vehicle not registered that's okay i'm assuming that's the civic um because he did ask me to remove vehicles that were not registered as you did know i did sell the tahoe so whatever um another ninety dollars and 25 cents for a registered vehicle and another 192.75 for vehicles being parked on the grass i'm assuming that is the f-350 that is parked up top now so I, i'm a little annoyed it is what it is it's kind of crazy that a ticket for parking on your grass is 192.75 and 198.50 that's obviously absurd and then these are just kind of um, because I took a court date. So these are my papers that actually say that I have a court date and it actually, um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and figure out what we're going to do for that. So I'm going to go ahead and just end the video there, guys. It is what it is. I absolutely hate making these videos, but you guys seem to love them. I know you guys love the comment section. The comment section seems to go absolutely absurd. So hopefully it will end up paying for some of my fines. And honestly, that's why I made this video guys. So there you guys have it. We are looking at property. As you guys can tell, um, we're just, you know, it's a time frame right now. Uh, I got, I, I like the second property. I like the build your own aspect of everything. Um, the first property was kind of not outdated, but it was definitely an older property. And that was more of like a business garage type situation, which I'm not really trying to open a garage or a like business. I'm just trying to do my YouTube. I'm just trying to have a building that I can actually work on my own cars um, and do my own stuff. So the first one's not out of the question. I just don't think it's suitable for what I want. Um, I think somebody else could go in there and actually start a real business and, you know, have all the basis laying down there that they can, you know, start something that's actually cool for me. I don't really need anything but a building right now or a foundation. And that's basically what I'm looking for. So again, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the content. I know this ain't, you know, the most ideal or most fun things, but we're looking for property. So that's the positive that we're going to get out of this. And that's how we're going to end it. So without further ado, I feel like playing Pac-Man for one game for you guys. And then uh, we're going to end this video. Ready? <laughs> And yes, I do have a Pac-Man machine in my house. And for why? Because I like Pac-Man. Oh, they're chasing me. I might have played this a few times in my life. 1600 baby Oh, 
I turned right at the end. I almost had a double 1600. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes, as you guys can tell, I do love me some Pac-Man. And who doesn't? 10,000. How can you guys not like some Pac-Man? Oh boy, run! Bingo, bango. He is coming in hot! Oh no, go! Oh, I was pinned. I was pinned. I highly doubt that I leave all of this in here for you guys to watch. Actually, I might. What do I care? You guys want to watch me play some Pac-Man? Pinned. <clears throat> it's alright, I think one more life. Yes, one more life. This is my favorite part. Mo loves. This is the weird part of Senna Steve that you guys don't ever get to see. <laughs> I still don't even know if I'm going to put this in the video. If I put this in the video, guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, it got me. Ended me. 18,000. That is my high score, 25,000. But uh, I freaking love this thing. That's going to end the video, guys. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.